Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr, and you're watching Videos by Andy. In a moment, you're going to meet this guy, and I'm not going to tell you who he is yet, but here's a clue. It says unique electric aviation on his shirt, and I'm in Ontario, California. So if you want to know more, you're going to stay tuned because that's coming up next right here on Videos by Andy. Okay, I have to tell you the truth. Six months ago, I had never even heard the name Unique. But I was flying, as you know, I have had multiple DJI copters, and I was talking to, a, you know, of all people, a moderator of a DJI forum. And I was considering getting an Inspire, but I'll be honest with you, I just wanted to try something different. I was considering going a 3DR, but to be honest, I've just reading about too many headaches. And this guy asked me, he goes, and this is all via PMs on Facebook, he goes, have you ever heard of Unique? Well, no, I hadn't. So I went online. And I found Unique.com. I found forums. I found Facebook groups. In fact, the one that you're watching on right now, I found, I started reading the Facebook threads. I joined. You know, it's amazing today of what you can find by just looking around. And within 24 hours, I went online, I pushed a button, and within five days, I had my first Unique quadcopter. And the one I went with was the Q500 4K. Now, I know that there were previous models, and lots of times I get questions. People ask me about those. I don't have experience in it, but I've gotten to know the Q500 4K, and I can't tell you how many videos I have online that go everything from my first day's usage to different camera settings and all that. So if you just click right down here, this would take you to my YouTube page or the videos by Andy where you can see a bunch of things. So if you're new to Unique like I was, uh, you can learn more. So what had happened as my videos and because of you guys have got popular, when I went to Interdrome in Las Vegas just a few months ago, and that was by pure coincidence, I ran into some folks from Unique. We did some videos there and it started a dialogue. And since I'd come out west about once a month, they invited me to come by their offices. Now, let me say right up front, along with this, I'm not a paid spokesman for Unique. I've had a lot of people come to me and say, ah, oh, your reviews are jaded, you're for hire. I'm not. I am here at my own expense, and you'll confirm that. Yes, yes. Any product that I've tested from Unique, I have purchased. In fact, I'm going to show you some stuff a little bit. I already told you, I want to buy. <laughs> and so this is not a commercial. Okay, you've heard me blabber enough, enough disclaimers and everything else. Let me tell you about this guy right here. This is Raymond Robinson. Raymond is, and give me the official title, you're the product manager? Product manager at Unique USA. Okay. And you came from the hobby world. You're not a guy who came from like marketing or something. You've been living, breathing, and eating this. Almost 13 years I've been doing this. Okay, and you work, for, I, mean, I guess you can say the name. You yes. work for a major company. Yes, I work for uh, Hobbyco and I work for Horizon Hobby. So you, unlike some companies who we have product managers, you fly these things. Yes. You're hands on. Hands on. Now, you went from you know, working for a huge organization to another huge organization. We know that Unique's still young. What's it like when you come into a company and say, okay, the product's yours now? It's, it's, it's fun, it's exciting, but it's also, you know, you really have to uh, see how they do things and um, you really have to get into the product and learn what they're doing and what they're about. So there were some aspects uh, with drones that uh, you know, I didn't understand what they were doing, but now I understand why they do things, Unique does things, and, and uh, the reason why they do it, which is very cool. Okay, well, you know, I guess, you know, I'm gonna guess, because we have not had this conversation, we say why they do things. In my mind, and again, I prefaced it, I've only really had, I've gone hands on with two copters. You know, the Q500 4K, and then later the GoPro, and as you guys know, and we talked about it, I'm not a big fan of the GoPro model. I just like the ease of use, and mm -hmm. the solution, of the, uh, uh, of the, the one box solution, yes. and how easy it works with that, and that's personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Those of you who've got the Typhoon Gs, if you like it, hey, more power to you. But the one thing I've noticed, and, and, I'm, and I know he's a good guy, he's not going to sit there and trash you know, the companies, but, but I'm going to speak my mind. You know, I just got tired of DJI's constant firmware. You know, yeah, the phantoms are faster, but it seems that every day you're having to update. You know, and as I said before, 3DR, you know, I'm a big fan of, of Colin Quinn, but it seems it's going to take a while for him to put his fingerprint on that company. When I look at Unique, that and again, I've had this uh, a Facebook question or um, a YouTube question. I saw people saying, well, 
Why are you saying it's not a phantom? And the reason is, first of all, it's larger. Mm -hmm. It's slower. It's slower, yeah. It's smoother. And in my mind, for what I use it for, I'm not using it for racing. I'm using it for photography. I'm getting good results. Some people say they're soft edges. I, you know, I think that, you know, sometimes you need to clean the lens and that might fix. But other times, yeah, we have to understand this is an evolving technology. Mm -hmm. Where do you see that going on the photography aspect? Um, I, say, I say our platform is about the camera. Um, making it, the, the platform, easy to fly and making it to where you don't have to worry about flying it and but getting the shot. Mm. So you don't have to have a fast vehicle aircraft to get the shot. Actually, you want to fly slower. You want to be able to set your shot up. You want to be able to get that perfect shot. Going fast is not going to, it might get you there quicker, but it's not going to get you the, that shot that you want. So our vehicle, yes, we do have the, the turtle mode, which is the slow, and then you can speed it up. But the, the fact is, is that we made it to where it's comfortable for the first time user to get out of the box, pop it up, and get that first shot with ease. Um, and that's why we do, that's what we did, what we did with the speed. A lot of people do comment that it is slow, but the, that's the reason why it is slow. It's well, about the camera. There's a new firmware update that just yes. came out a couple weeks ago. And I don't know if there's, like any, like any other firmware updates, and I guess this is the first firmware update You've, unlike other companies, first one you've had it many, many yeah, months. Yeah, it takes us a while. Now, my understanding is it does increase the speed, both yes. in total mode mm -hmm. and, well, why don't you go through, what, what are the changes on what, that? What it does is we did increase the speed by a, a few miles per hour. It's not blistering fast, mm -hmm. but it, it's a notice, noticeably faster, so it'll get you where you need to go quick. Mm -hmm. So if you need to go across the field, it's going to get you there a little bit quicker. Um, but we also uh, worked on the firmware to land the vehicle. So the so aircraft. So the bounce. So it, yeah, so when it comes down, it doesn't, it, it, the original kind of bounced, then it landed. This comes down, it'll settle, and then it just lands. So it, it, it made it a lot easier for the customer to land it. What well, didn't it also change the return to home mode, the yes. method it does that? Yes, um, what happens is if you lose a signal, mm -hmm. uh, the transmitter it shuts down, something happens, it just stays in home mode, it just, it, it stays right there. And then when you re, uh, when you get the signal back, you can bring it in. Okay. So if, it, if you get in trouble or something, the signal gets lost, it, it goes into home mode, stays in that, stays right there and it doesn't move. Okay, now, you've brought up Signal, and because you know, figure, I got some products here, and I'll just tease them here. We're going to show you some stuff in a minute, and I'm going to tease you on that. But since you brought up Signal, you know, I know my personal experience on both the, with the 4K and on the G models. I get about 450 to 550 feet, and then the signal breaks up. Now, for the way I use it, the type of photography I use, mm -hmm. that's pretty much pretty good. I mean, yeah. if I'm doing a par 3 golf course, I'm good. Par 4... I'm, you know, kind of on the edge. If a par five, I'd go stand out in the middle of the fairway to, to be able to get T to green. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just one of the hobby things I fly because I live on a golf course. Uh, the, the signal, I know that there's aftermarket mods. And, and again, I'm editorial. I'm not a big fan on aftermarket mod. I don't like to do anything that violates a warranty. And especially with what's going on with the FAA right now to encourage people to go that. And I know people are going to argue with me. Deal with it. It's my opinion. You have yours. I'll respect yours. You respect mine. But is there a way, is Unique working on getting a fix to getting a little bit more distance so you can have the video in line of sight? Well, we're working on, we're always working on mm -hmm. new technology and updating um, the cameras and everything like that. So we are working on things like that to get longer, so you can get more video at longer distances. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it, it, it's not going to be right now, mm -hmm. so uh, we're working on it. Now, and also on the firmware, there's just one other thing before we get into what, what we have in the boxes over here. There is an issue with the battery signal, and I, and I noticed this on the Typhoon G, and I thought it was isolated, but I'm starting, other people reporting this, that when you get into low battery, when you get the vibration, mm -hmm. you used to have, it used to, uh, before it would automatically go into return home or start, you know, mm -hmm. coming down on you. You used to have a little bit more time, and it seems that now the second you get that first vibration, that you better bring her down quick. Is that is, is, did something change in the algorithm on that, or I don't think anything changed. I think that you know every time I fly my uh, Typhoon 4K or the G, 
and you get that battery indication, I always bring it in. Mm -hmm. I don't like to let it, even if and I might have five more minutes, I always bring it in and I just change the battery out. Mm -hmm. It's just something inherently is telling you, it's low, let's bring it in, let's, let's ensue on the side of caution. You know, I, I, it, if you think about it, that goes along with the concept that uniques are slower, smoother copters. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're looking for a racehorse, it's not. One. It's not but a if you're looking, if you're like me, and you want good photography without being a slave mm -hmm. to your copter, and that's it. Oh, there is one other issue, and if I don't say this, the people are going to give me all kinds of things. <laughs> There's been some issues, depending on how you're flying on, on the Typhoon into a wind, the yawing issue. Yes. Did the firmware fix that, or is that going to be something with propellers down the road, or, or what so, is it? Yeah, I know we're working on you know new propellers to handle the wind and everything better, but uh, yeah, it's... It, it's a light aircraft, so it's it really trying to to keep that position to where you're at. So it's going to yaw into the wind. So when you're flying, and I've flown it in 30 knot winds, and it's just it's staying there, but it's holding, and it inherently it's just light. So, so it's, it's what fighting. should the pilot do if you're if you're going into the wind? All of a sudden, it yaws on you. Yaws on you. What? Do you release and let Just GPS let take do, over? Let it do what it's doing. Because I, I know that you know, like even when I've flown it in with the Wizard, and, and we were up in Napa Valley, and it was blowing. I was like 35, and it, it would just... It would yaw, and it would just come around, but it would always... I would not panic. Don't panic. It, it'll stay there. It's not going to fall out of the sky. It's correcting itself. Mm -hmm. So just let it go. Okay. And then you can always bring... And if you feel like it, there, it's just too much, Put it in the home mode, and then it'll return to home, and it'll land itself. You know, this is good information. I tell you what we're going to do. Let's. Uh, we had this planned out. Where, if you notice behind, us, you see that that's a tornado. We're doing. I'm here. You know, the, for the business day today, we're doing a variety of segments. Originally, we were going to jump in, and I was going to show you what's in these two boxes, but so that we so that we don't bore you to death. I mean, he's the exciting guy, so I don't bore you to death. What we're going to do? Let's close this one out now. Mm -hmm. Up here. We're going to be talking about handheld solutions. I just got finished with a multi-week review on the Osmo. We're going to be talking about unique handheld solutions. And we're going to be talking about their tornado, both the nomenclature, who it's designed for, and I'm going to get hands-on. And that should be interesting because I've never flown a hexacopter before, although I have two years on quads. So stay tuned. Here's links down here. Remember, if you want to be notified of my new videos, go to facebook.com slash videos by Andy. You can subscribe to us uh, on, on YouTube, or you just go right here to videosbyandy.com. For Videos by Andy, I'm the gadget guru Andy Parr, and I'll see you online and in the air with Raymond.